Hello. In this video we will learn what is exchange rate targeting. All right. Let's imagine you have a special kind of money that you can use to trade with your friends for their toys. Exchange rate targeting is like trying to keep the value of your special money steady compared to the value of other kinds of money, like your friend's money. Imagine you have five shiny pebbles, and your friend has five colorful beads. You agree that one shiny pebble is worth one colorful bead. That's like having an exchange rate of one to one. Now, let's say your friend finds more beads, and suddenly, they have 10 beads. But you still only have 5 pebbles. Your friend might want more pebbles for their beads, because they have more beads now. So, they might say 1 pebble is worth 2 beads. That's like changing the exchange rate to 1 to 2. Exchange rate targeting is, when a country's government or central bank tries to keep the value of its money steady compared to other countries' money. They might do this by buying or selling their own money in exchange for other countries' money to try to keep the exchange rate the same. It's like trying to make sure that your five pebbles stay worth the same as your friend's five beads, even if they find more beads, or if you find more pebbles. The objective of exchange rate targeting of a specific country is to import the inflation of the target country. For example, if Argentina adopts this policy with the target country being USA, then one peso will be equal to one USD, and inflation rate in USA will be imported to Argentina. The drawback of exchange rate targeting is that, all the other things in the economy will have to act as balancing figure, and will have to accommodate as per this only. This is bad for the economy.